little uh, demonstration of uh, this is a boomless sprayers. Been using that. That's a uh, ag spray model, 65 gallon, fits right in the back of the uh, Polaris. But you guys can see this is uh, ground I'm going to put into CRP. Uh, it's actually just a, I'm not actually putting it in the CRP program. I'm just going to put a native grass mix in. Um, it's about 40% switchgrass, big little blue stem Indian grass, a couple different things. But um, try not to keep the switchgrass, if you're using it as a screen, you can put more than 40% switchgrass in it. If you're not using it as screening, then I, I would say 30-40% is pretty good. Eventually switchgrass will take over. So, But showing you guys, this, uh, this is actually a corn plot that's up there. Hopefully I get it planted tomorrow, it'll dry up enough. And then we'll plant this here in a couple days. It's actually about the first time it's been dry enough to get in here. So looking forward to that. Um, I, I'm a big fan of putting in native grass plots next to food plots. Um, this will create doe bedding over here. It also it, it offers a little bit of screening. Uh, it keeps the neighbors from being able to look into the plot, at least at the deer level. Uh, it should be, should be good. Turkey hunting will be good on it in the spring when you burn it off. But so I'm spraying Roundup 2,4-D, the product called Plateau. Plateau is a uh, broadleaf suppressant uh, that'll. It's a residual lasts most of the summer. I actually sprayed this last spring. Uh, that's kind of why it's in. You know, the Plateau did its job. It's pretty thin crop on here, but I just could not get in here at all last summer and get my native grass planted. So we're doing that this year. Looking forward to uh, to seeing what this is going to look like this fall. I think it's going to be be pretty awesome to be honest. But um, if you have any questions on native grass plantings, don't uh, don't hesitate to reach out. And hopefully, help you as much as, as possible. Um, they not every property needs them, but this property definitely does. Uh, otherwise, this this little area was just going to be a swamp forever. Um, and we might, have, might as well utilize it somehow. Once I get my native grass in here established and going how I want it, uh, probably gonna go in here with some oaks, uh, walnuts, some desirable tree species and plant it. Um, and then I'll cage those and let them go and, and kind of hope for the best. I'm not, I don't always have the most time for tree care, but we can, uh, th this area should, should grow really good trees. It, it has, it, it's actually got a bunch of pecans on here now, native pecans. So. Looking forward to uh, how this is going to turn out this fall and, and the years to come. Here's a little look at the ag spray, that boomless model. It does about 25 feet roughly, uh, not quite that much day. Got a little bit of a breeze. There's the whole setup. <clears throat> Pretty handy. Got an on off switch there in the buggy. But uh, you can see <clears throat> here's roughly a 15 acre field. And, and over the years, we used to be able to farm this little bottleneck up here. We can no longer farm it. Equipment's got too big. Uh, spray booms on, on the, uh, the spray rigs are all too big now. We can't, I mean, you can see how bad these cuckleberries are. We actually planted up the beans last year. We've got basically no stand uh, due to these cuckleberries. So I'm coming in. I'm going to spray it with uh, Roundup 2,4-D and plateau again. Um, you should only spray about four ounces of the acre of plateau when you're doing switchgrass. I bumped it up to about six because clearly you can see how much of a problem we have with cuckleburrs. It is, it's a real issue. Um, so I did six ounces to help with my suppressant. I'm going to also bump up my rate of switchgrass to about two pounds an acre, knowing that I'll probably have a 50% uh, fail rate uh, on that. So. This way I'll still have a good blend of switchgrass in here and then have all my other grasses to go along with it. But just wanted to show you guys, uh, I just finished up with the first plot I showed you, showing you this next one. Um, I used to do a clover plot in here um, that was absolutely beautiful. However, can't do that anymore. We've got some, some neighbors that uh, like to hunt on our property or at least like to look on it. So you can see this big bottleneck all the way down through here. Uh, we have a pond right over there. So <clears throat> this is this is all going to be just bedding only. Um, once we have a, the the switchgrass established, I'm going to come in. I'm going to hinge cut some of these trees down just to create a little more uh, browse along the edge form, and, and we're going to be ready to go. So we'll uh, give you an update later this summer, this fall, show you what it looks like. Now, I wish I could have planted this 
honestly back in December, but it's just been so wet. This is also the first time this has been dry enough to really even get over with the, uh, the UTV and the sprayer. So um, best case scenario, uh, in two days I'll be able to, it'll be dry enough I can, I can plant. So good luck.